Okay, let's see. This will be script number 436 for the Brainy Brinley channel, which is on hiatus until I'm allowed to be on a phone or laptop again. By the time that happens, everyone will know my story. I'm writing it down in this notebook so I don't forget anything. So, where to begin? Oh, I know. I'll do like a cute Dear Diary thing. <laughs> I'm so good. Okay. Dear Diary, I hate my life. First of all, it's my birthday, which BT dubs I have to share with Birdie. I honestly can't take it anymore. The family tries so hard to make me feel like one of them, but no. And ew. I mean, Dr. and Mr. Anders are nice enough, but I have a dad, thank you very much. A dad who never checks in on me when he's away and still has no idea I'm in any danger. Anywho, this whole adventure has been a nightmare. Can I just fast forward to the part of my life where I'm rich and famous? Because that day is coming. Mark my words, Brin Squad. I'm legit going to take over the world one day. Brinley, what are you doing? Come on. Ugh, Holiday Anders. Forever a buzzkill. Okay, I'm coming. This is why I hate campgrounds. There's absolutely no privacy. Wait, what's all this? Happy birthday! Look what we made for you. That doesn't look like a cake. It's venison. From the local market. Our way of thanking you, Brinley, for all you've sacrificed for our family. We hope it reminds you of home. I think it's cool that we share a birthday, Brinley. You shouldn't have done this. I'm not celebrating my birthday this year. Not without my dad. I'll be on the dock by the lake. Brinley! Well, that wasn't as successful as I'd hoped. And now we're stuck with three pounds of deer meat. Be nice to us birthday girls. She misses her dad. I'm sure that's a big part of it, Bird. And I love that you're sensitive to that. Even if Brinley makes it hard sometimes. I, I was really sad yesterday too, but at least we're together. I'll go talk to her. No, Mom, let me. But if you hear a splash, you might want to come running. Hey, Brinley. Mind if I join you on the dock? Kinda busy. You should go celebrate with your family. I will. I just wanted to sit with you for a second. Why? The lake's not even really frozen. Just a big old slush puddle. Right. Anyway, happy birthday. It's weird, I feel like I've known you forever. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It's just, it's been such a short time, but I can't imagine my life without you. We'd both be a lot happier, probably. Yeah, but it would feel like something was missing, too, you know? Didn't Acorn fall and hit you on the head or something? Nope. I just... I'm sorry you have to spend your birthday with people you don't really even like. Well, I guess if you suddenly disappeared from my life, I'd feel like I was missing something, too. Which is totally different from missing you. Of course. Totally different. I mean, it was cool when I figured out you could access stuff on the internet with your brain. Yep. That was impressive. And sometimes it's kind of fun to say horrible things to you. That's so sweet. You know what I mean. Wait, why are we being nice? I don't know. You and Bird do share a birthday. Plus, Birdie, Cyrus, and I made a pact last night to stop being jerks to each other. And you think we should? No, no. Haters for life. Thank you. But, I mean, if things ever were to get super hard or whatever, I'd be there to listen or tell you you're wrong or whatever. Wouldn't even tell anybody. Are you saying that because you feel sorry for me or something? Me? Feel sorry for Brinley Pasternak? Please, you're legit gonna take over the world one day. <gasps> Did you read my... No, you couldn't have. I just wrote it. Huh? Nothing. Happy birthday, Brinley. Hey, you should, um, come back and eat. You're the only one who can tell us if the venison's cooked right. Right behind you. again. What happened after you got away? So the lady police officer was chasing after me, but- Badger! Bruce, you made it! Barely. There were these Whittier helicopters and that scary dude with the fire hands was there? Magnus was there? I got out just in time. When I got to the woods, everything got quiet. 
I turned off Mr. Board so that no one would be able to hear me, and then I ran the last few miles here to the campground. It was so awesome. I still don't get how Whittier Corp is tracking us. I've swept the van and luggage countless times. The cell phone's been destroyed. Cyrus, you didn't take anything when you were an intern, did you? Take anything? Like what? Some of the equipment you use there. A microscope, maybe? Even a notebook or a pen could have a GPS tracker on it. I didn't take anything out of there. Can we not talk about Whittier Corp for one day? Badger's here, and we're safe for now. And it's the B-Squad's birthdays. The B-Squad? I like it. We're totally the B-Squad. Ugh, fine. We got you guys a cake. You did? I thought you couldn't find one. We lied. Happy birthday, B-Squad. Awesome! Do you like it, Brinley? Yeah, it's okay. I know this isn't what either of you girls would want, and we wouldn't want it for you, but we're going to get through this. They've chased us all the way from Alaska to Arkansas, and we're still together. Angelica Graves hasn't broken that bond, and she never will. That's our strongest weapon against them. I believe, in my heart, we're going to be okay. I don't know how or when, and I'm not saying it'll be easy, but together, we will come out on top. This I know. I love every last one of you. Thank you for being mine. Happy birthday, girls. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna go down by the lake, see if I can get some more wood. Sure, son. Need help? No, I'm good. Hey, Sai, wait up. Everything okay? Totally. Don't forget our pack. O okay. Full disclosure, there is something, but nothing you have to worry about. Not yet. I, I won't be contacting Woody or anything stupid. I just need to do a little research first. All right, but one more strike and you're out. I know. If my hunch is right, I'll tell you everything right away. Promise. Well, Mr. Board, I can't sleep, so that means you don't get to either. Time to turn you back on so we can patrol for Whittier Corp. Wait, don't! Cyrus? What are you doing out here? It's the middle of the night. Don't turn the hoverboard back on. How come? Because it's you, Badger. You're the one. Whittier Corp is tracking us through you.